Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Still on Power Machines N5, today we will be looking at a Velocity diagram. My name is Tsepo. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure you keep on receiving videos like this. Click that notification button so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. So before we talk about Velocity diagram, let's first talk about the process of uh, generating electricity. Most of us have did that, uh, have once saw an experiment where we have a generator and the, at the end of the generator there will be a light bulb connected and as we spin the shaft of the generator the light goes on. So that's, that's basically how electricity is created so now we do know that a generator a generator can help us in the creation of energy our next job is to find a machine or a device that will help us spin this shaft but it has to be a machine that doesn't use electricity because we are trying to generate electricity so that's where we introduce a device called a turbine so a turbine consists of a shaft and then that shaft will be coupled to the shaft of of the generator so the, sh the shaft of the the shaft of the turbine will consist of blades so let's write this uh, this will be the shaft this will be the top view of the the shaft of the turbine so the shaft of the turbine will consist of blades blades that look like this they are at an angle since we know that we will use steam to produce electricity so we will have steam which is superheated steam H soup so the steam as it enter the turbine it will enter the turbine at an angle let me write this here this is the top section of the top view of our shaft and then this is our our blade although it looks like a banana but it's a blade so we will have the steam this is the steam entering the blade at an angle of alpha uh, and then as the steam enters the blade it will cause the blade to move in that direction at velocity u but since uh, the blade is mounted on the shaft the blade or the velocity of the blade will cause our shaft to rotate and since this shaft is mounted to the shaft of the generator the shaft of the generator will also rotate and then at the end we will be able to have electricity so that is basically how electricity is being produced so we have two types of turbine we have types of turbine we have number one an impulse turbine impulse turbine impulse and then we have a reaction turbine so we will come to that in a moment but uh, in this chapter we are more interested in this part of the turbine which is the blade so we will take the blade out and write it separately 
separately. So this is our blade. Let me write it here. Let me erase all this. And let's look at the blade. So this is our blade. Oh, it's too big. This is our blade. So we said the steam will enter the blade at an angle. So this at the steam entering the blade at angle alpha and then it will glide through the blade causing the blade to move in that direction in the in velocity u at velocity u and then the steam will glide through the taper will glide will glide through the blade and then it will come out sorry it will come out at an angle of beta so we will say this is velocity number one the velocity of the steam as it enters the the, the blade and this is velocity number two the velocity of the steam as it leaves the blade this is velocity number two so whenever we have two things moving at the same time we will say now the gas the steam sorry the steam will be moving relative to the blade or we can say the blade is moving relative to this the, to the steam it doesn't matter so that will cause us to have another velocity here which is the resultant velocity let's uh, do it like this which will be the resultant velocity of the two which is vr1 and then here we will also have the resultant velocity here which is vr2 and then this will be the velocity of the plate is u and then in this side is also u so the speed of the of the of the of the plate will not change it will always be u at the inlet and at the outlet so now we have the velocity of uh, the, the steam we have the resultant velocity and we have the velocity of of the plate so now because our velocities our velocity is at an angle we will have components of this velocity of the velocity of gas the components this will be the vertical component and this will be the horizontal component and then our our vertical component will be what we call the flow of velocity this will be number two and then this will be and then another component here we'll have another component here let's erase this and write it here vr1 and then we have another component here and then we will say this is v is the flow of velocity number one and this is the flow of velocity number two and then from here to here this this is you this will be our our well velocity number one and then from here to here this is this will be our way velocity number two so now we will have the angle of the blade at inlet which is this one theta this will be theta theta is the angle of the blade at inlet for no shock and then this is the outlet velocity of the blade at outlet and then when we combine these two we will have a structure like this with uh okay let me write this here we'll have a structure like this
with the no with the no with the nozzle being in this side and then the steam will enter from this side meaning that this will be our v1 and then it will enter at angle alpha and then it will enter at angle alpha and come out at angle beta this will be our beta and then this is will be our v2 so this will be the velocity of the blade since we know that the velocity of the blade will be the same at the inlet and at the outlet this is u the velocity of the blade and then we will have our resultant velocity which is vr1 and then we'll have our velocity our resultant velocity at our outlet which will be vr2 so now we will have the components here let me erase this and write it here vr1 and then we will have the components we said this is the flow of velocity number one and then this will this will be the flow of velocity number two so from here to here this is our well v w1 will time will velocity number one and then from here to here this will be our v w2 and then the the angle here will be sorry will be uh, this angle which is the which is the angle of the blade at outlet and then this will be our theta which is the angle of the blade at inlet so this is inlet angle of the plate outlet angle of the plate this is inlet angle of the of the steam this is outlet angle of the steam so this is what we call the velocity diagram this is our velocity diagram and the velocity diagram it consists of these two triangles which is the triangle at the inlet and the triangle at the outlet so we will have we have okay sorry uh these two the well velocity from here to here will give us what we call uh, the well velocity which is the total well velocity uh it will be this plus this and then we get the total well velocity so like i've said we have two types of velocity diagrams the types of velocity diagrams let me erase this we have the velocity diagram of a turbine with axial thrust thrust and then number two we will have the 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 velocity diagram of a turbine without axial thrust and then the last one will be the velocity diagram of a turbine that discharge this charge axially so these are our three velocity diagrams so they are different they are not the same so we will start with the velocity diagram that uh the velocity diagram of a turbine with axial thrust so the turbine with axial thrust is what we call the impulse turbine so this goes with this so this is an example of a velocity diagram with uh axial thrust or the impulse turbine this is the example of the velocity diagram and then number two the reaction turbine will uh go with the velocity diagram the velocity diagram of a turbine without axial thrust so whenever you are told that the velocity diagram 
is for a turbine without axial thrust. What you have to keep in mind is that, let me draw here. What you have to keep in mind is that, um, oops, is that these two points, these two points, will be on the same horizontal line and then these two will be the same also this will be the same as this one the v1 will be the same as vr2 and then this uh this line will also be the same with this line so basically what i'm saying is that when you are told that the velocity diagram is for a turbine without axial thrust or is for a reaction turbine, uh, when we come to the velocity diagram, we will have two identical triangles. This triangle will be the same as this triangle. They will have this uh, and these angles will be the same. This and this will be the same. This and this will also be the same. So usually when they give you this type of a question they will give you the information of one triangle and after construction that uh, triangle you will have to transfer the information of that triangle to the other triangle because you know that they are going to be the same so our last one the velocity diagram of a, a turbine that discharge axially so with this one whenever you you hear the name uh, a velocity diagram that discharge Actually, one thing to keep in mind is that this line will be 90 degrees. This angle, which is beta, our beta will always be 90 degrees. Before you read another, the, the other information that they gave you, always start with this. It will always be 90 degrees. And then you will take it from there to see what other information that you are, what information, what other information is it that you are given. But this will always be 90 degrees for a turbine that discharge ag discharge axially so we will have so we will have two we will have some formulas that we are going to use in this topic and then the first formula will be for power which is m times v times v w v w this will be our v w and then this is this is u our u will be uh, this, it's our u, which is the velocity of the blade. And then the other formula will be the formula of axial thrust. Axial thrust. And then it's equals to m, the, uh, it's the velocity of flow number one minus the velocity of flow number two and then our third formula will be for the diagram efficiency or it also they sometimes call it the blading the blading efficiency blading efficiency it's either the blading efficiency or the diagram efficiency and then the formula for blading efficiency is given by 2 times u times v w divided by v1 squared times 100 so that is basically everything that we will need in this topic so yeah meditate on this and make sure that on our next video you have understood this completely because on our next video we will be at, uh, we will be attempting questions so this is the foundation make sure that the foundation is strong so that we do not have a problem when we start on building uh, our our skyscraper so from me to you that is the end of our lesson today we will i will see you on the next lesson ciao